Hi, I'm Miller Wilson and today I'm going to be taking you to one of my favourite places on the Blackall Range, the Obi Obi Creek. Now one thing that I've learned over the three years of filming snakes and reptiles is that snakes, although they do love bushy habitats like this, they also love getting under heated corrugated iron. So I've laid down some sheets, left them here for about a week, so I'll lift it up and maybe there will be one under here. Small lad snake. Alright, so I've got four more pieces of tin just laying down here, so I'm really interested to see if there's any other snakes under here. So if we just come over here, we'll quick have a quick look. Alright, so what we got just down here is once again another small lead snake. Now that just shows how common these guys are. Now these are one of my favourite species of snakes and they were discovered in 1862. And since they've got this black colouring and a pink belly, they're often confused by the much larger red belly black snake. So we're going to leave this tin down, check the two others, and just leave them be. And under the third piece of tin, we found this big fella. So one thing that I've spent time researching is the impact that this little guy, also known as the cane toad, has made on Australia's wildlife population, in particular reptiles and snakes. Ever since these toads were introduced into Australia, there's been a decline in the snake population, as they have venom glands just sitting behind their head here that excrete a deadly toxin. Now although these cane toads can kill something as big as a crocodile, there is two species who live down in my local creek system who can handle the venom. They are known as the keelback snake, and the sawshell turtle. So where these sawshell turtles and keelbacks thrive is down at the Obi Obi Creek. So we're gonna head down there now. This creek is home to a diverse array of plants and animals, from the platypus to even the coastal carpet python, which is what we have here. Now this snake, what we found right in front of us, is the coastal carpet python. They're one of my favourite species of snakes just because they're such a beautiful snake. They're very common throughout these forests across southeast Queensland. Now although they're non-venomous, inside their mouth they have 80 backwards facing teeth which can deliver a nasty bite. Now prey are caught, constricted and they lose consciousness before they are swallowed whole. Now these snakes, they're highly adaptable and can live in all different areas from rainforests, wetlands, deserts pretty much any place you can find. When the coastal carpet python reaches full maturity, they're commonly found around the length of about two meters long. But believe it or not, this guy could one day grow to well over four meters in length. It is vital for us to preserve habitats that let creatures like these thrive. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. This was a bit of a different video on my channel. I mostly post catch and cook kind of videos, but I decided to do a bit of a different video for this one. So what I'm gonna do now is do a bit of a Q&A video. So what I did is I posted on my Snapchat story, and if you wanna go add me on Snapchat, it's just Miller underscore Wilson. And what I did is I posted on my Snapchat story if anyone has any questions they wanna ask me that I'd answer that I'd answer some in this next video. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna do now. All right. Tay Tay Cliff Cliff asks, what's the biggest fish you've ever caught? The biggest fish? Well, the biggest fighting fish would have to be a 90 centimeter Mac tuna. I caught it on a charter boat kind of thing offshore. Would you recommend homeschooling? Well, I would recommend homeschooling, but the reason why I like it so much is because before I did homeschooling, I was posting a video like once every month or something, but now I can post videos once every week or two weeks to keep you guys entertained, and that's pretty much the reason why I like it so much. What's your favorite fish to catch and cook? Flattered. I did some videos with Ethan when we went up to this place, Flattered Fishing, and those Flattered, they just tasted so good. So, um, yeah, that's definitely my favorite fish to catch and cook. What's your favorite place you've traveled to? I'd have to say South Africa. That was probably the highlight going there. That was a really cool experience, getting to see like lions and elephants right next to our cars in the safari parks. But I am going to Bali at the end of the year in November, so I'll be trying to film some fishing videos when I go over there. I'm gonna bring my rod over there and hopefully catch a few different species of fish. And just before we go, <laughs> yeah, I don't think that worked. My friend Ethan here, he's nearly at 10,000 subscribers. So if you'd go over and check out his channel, it'd mean heaps. Help him get to 10K. He's got a couple hundred to go, so it'd be good if you'd helped him out. Say something. I'm thinking of something to say. Catch my lens. So Ethan and I are gonna go bass fishing early tomorrow morning, and it's about 12 o'clock at the moment. So we're gonna head to sleep. I'm gonna finish off this video, upload it. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again next time. Do you have games on your phone?